the barn door before the clock strikes two. There's a cow inside the barn. And he's saying, Ooh. Open up the barn door. It's a sunny, sunny day. There's a horse inside the barn. And she's saying, Yay! Open up the barn door singing, La 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 la. There's a lamb inside the barn. And she's saying, Ba, ba, ba. Open up the barn door as fast as you know how. There's a cat inside the barn. And she's saying, Meow, meow. Open up the barn door. It's quite a jazzy joint. There's a pig inside the barn. And he's saying, oink, oink, oink. Open up the barn door. You're in for very good luck. There's a chicken in the barn. And she's saying, cluck, 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 cluck. Open up the barn door. Consider this a warning. The scarecrow is in the barn. And she's saying, good morning. Hi, everybody. It's me. But I thought it would be fun to be a scarecrow, even though I don't really know. Scarecrow's not really real, right? But I thought it would be fun to pretend to be one. And here I am in a barn. I made a, I made a barn out of the box that I made the um, doghouse. So on that end, is the dog house and on this side is the real barn. I hope you like it. So we've got the horse, the sheep, a chicken, cluck, 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 and I also have a rooster. There's a rooster who also goes cluck, 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 but also says cock a doodle doo. And a kitty cat who goes meow. And I also have a dog because dogs are lots of time at um, on farms, right? And we all know I don't do a very good dog bark, but I could go woof, 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 woof. Is that better? Then you went to sleep silent. And we have a cow, and the cow says moo. And we have a pig, and the pig uses oink, 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 oink. Right? So, here we are. I think we should start our day. What do you think? Should we say good morning, good morning, it's a good, 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 good morning. Say hello and how do you do to all your friends and your teachers and your parents and your brothers and your sisters and your dogs and your cats and your fish and your farm animals too. Good morning, good morning. It's a good, good, great, great morning. Oh my goodness, I have been thinking about doing this for a long time, and I'm trying to come up with fun things for us to talk about and to do. And so here we are. It's another week that we are together in this kind of strange sort of way. But it's sort of kind of fun, right? Maybe not. Can you dress up as somebody? Do you like to dress up? I know you do. I know you like to pretend, so I'm going to pretend to be a scarecrow. Whatever that means, I don't know yet how that works. But all of these things I have in my house from when my children were little. Isn't that crazy? I guess I save a lot of things. So I'm going to get out of the barn, and I'm going to come around and pick up the computer and move you to a better spot where we can, I'll be more comfortable. Okay? So hang on and give me count to see how long it takes me. Okay? One. And your mark, get set, go, Julie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm here. I'm right here. Hi, how are you? Here we are in my favorite little spot with all my stuff sit down and to chat with you. How are you? I hope you're doing well. 
I really, really hope you're doing well because it's really important to check in that way, right? So hello to Aiden. How are you today? Hello to Noah. How you doing today? Hello to Caroline. How you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Hello to Charlie. How you doing today? Hello to Tommy. How are you doing today? Hello to Cece. How you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Hello to Augie. How you doing today? Hello to Emerson. How you doing today? Hello to Harrison. How you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Hello to August, how you doing today? Hello to Emmett, how you doing today? Hello to Jonah, how you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Hello to Aurelia, how you doing today? Hello to Remy, how you doing today? Hello to Eleanor, how you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Hello to Ruby, how you doing today? Hello to Zoe, how you doing today? Hello to Tilly, how you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Hello to Jonathan, how you doing too well? And hello to my niece Beatrice, how you doing today? Hello to Benjamin, how you doing today? And Jonah, I hope you're doing well, I really do. I really hope you are because we talked about all those feelings, right? Can I tell you something? When I got up this morning, I wasn't feeling just like so happy. I wasn't feeling sad, but I wasn't feeling happy. I was just kind of feeling just nothing. And what I already can tell is by just doing this little bit between you and me, I'm feeling better. So it's helpful, right? To be able to talk to somebody and to say hi and not be lonely. It's pretty quiet in my house with just my husband and me. It's nice to have people, you know, to say hi to. So I'm grateful that we can say hi. So I don't think I'm gonna feel sad after we're done. I think I'll feel good, but it's okay if you feel sad, right? And it's okay if you're worried definitely okay if you're excited right or feeling kind of silly I do feel kind of silly when I look at myself do you think I look silly I'm not mad but it's okay if I were mad I'm hoping I'm gonna be happy because I'm feeling it in my stomach in my bones I'm feeling a little happier right so tell me it's been a long time since you and I have been together. You were with Sarah, and isn't she fun? All that stuff about space. I mean, how awesome is that? She's so great. I miss her. I talk to her on the phone, but I don't get to see her. Um, so when you were with her last week, you got through a lot of days of May. You and I started on May 1st, and then it was 2 and then three and four and five and six and seven and eight, which leaves us to, when you were with Sarah, it was Friday, May 8th, 2020. So the day after Friday, uh-oh, my tape isn't here. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 where did it go? Um, the day after Friday is what? Saturday. You got it. Here's my tape. I see it. It's right on the table. So hold on just a second. I'm just going to go reach for it. So Saturday is the day after. The number after eight is what? Yes. It is the number nine. And what is this pattern we've got going here? Blue, green, blue, green, pink, orange, pink, orange. <coughs> I don't see a pattern yet. Do you? Well, let's see what today's going to be. <coughs> it's nine, and it's blue. Huh. What do you think? Should we look at it again? 
<coughs> blue, green, blue, green. Pink, orange, pink, orange, blue. What do you think? Do you think maybe it's green? <coughs> well, let's first figure out the day after Saturday, we come back over here and we start all over again with the first day of that song. Sunday, to, yesterday was Sunday. The number after nine is the number 10, you're right, and look what color it is. Wow. So maybe the pattern is going to be blue, green, blue, green, pink, orange, pink, orange. I said blue, green. Do you think it's blue tomorrow or today? What do you think? Hmm. So yesterday was Sunday. That means today is Sunday, Monday, and yesterday was 10, so today is 11, and look what color it is. Ah, we finally, I think, have a pattern. Blue, green, blue, green, pink, orange, pink, orange, blue, green, blue. We'll see what tomorrow brings, but today, the date is Monday, May 11th, 2020. All day. Pretty crazy. Already May 11th. Amazing. So what's your weather like today? What's our weather like today? Look outside. Tell me. Is it raining? Is it cloudy? Is it sunny? Is it snowing? I hope it's not snowing. That would be not we don't want to snow in May. But what's it doing? Hmm? Okay. I believe you. I wish you could hear me. I wish I could hear you. I can't. But I know you know what the weather is because all you have to do is look out there. I hope it's warm. Okay. Well, I have to show you something because we got to check on those butterflies. You're not going to believe it. Just wait until you see. through to the special spot where I have them. I'm going to show you what it looks like up close. You're going to see. Can you see the butterflies? There's one here. There's one there. And there's one back here. Hi, Mr. Butterfly. Hi, and there are still three inside in their uh, chrysalises yet. And I don't know if you can see back there. Yeah, you can see. There's one, two, three. And look, on the bottom, I have orange slices that I put for them. And the really cool thing is, do you remember when I told you that one of the chrysalises fell to the bottom of the habitat? A butterfly came out. So we should get six butterflies. That's pretty cool, huh? I think it's pretty cool. I'm really excited about it. Super excited. All right, so I hope you're standing up. If you're not, please do because I think we need to shake out a little bit here. I am a scarecrow, and usually scarecrows are standing like this, right? And that's, can you imagine being a scarecrow? How boring that would be. Kind of, sort of boring. But anyway, that's what I am. That's what I've chosen to be. But I gotta tell you, I like shaking my head. I like shaking my head, shaking my head. Doesn't it feel good? Ooh. And I like waving my hands. I like waving my hands, waving my hands, shaking my head, 
doesn't it feel good? And I like flapping my arms. Woo! I like flapping my arms. Flapping my arms, waving my hands, shaking my head. Doesn't it feel good? And I like rolling my back. Whoa, I like rolling my back. Rolling my back, flapping my arms, waving my hands, shaking my head. Doesn't it feel good? And I like marching my legs. And I like marching my legs. Yeah. Marching my legs, rolling my back, flapping my arms, waving my hands, shaking my head. Doesn't it feel good? Doesn't it feel good? Doesn't it feel good? Yeah! Oh, it's good to move, right? It's good to move our bodies all around. Um, and I hope that you're able to get a little bit of exercise. I hope you're able to go outside. And if the, night, the weather, we've had some really nice days. I hope you're able to go out and maybe ride your bikes or go for a walk. That's what I hope anyway. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Okay, now I forgot one more thing that I have to go get. Hold on a minute and count. One, two, three, four. Fourteen. That was a lot. Sorry. Well, here I am. I'm back. So there are so many of those um, animals that live on a farm. And there's so many different kinds of farms. You know, there's farms where we grow things. Sometimes farms do both. They grow things and they have animals. And sometimes farms just grow things. And this farm that we're going to just talk about a little bit for a couple days this has the animals, and so we don't get to see that very often because we don't live near farms. When I was a little girl, a long, 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 long time ago, I lived in a small town, and the, my where I lived in the city, there weren't farms, but you just would get in the car, and you would drive a mile away, and we were surrounded by farms, and it was a town in Michigan, and we... Farmers grew wheat, they grew beans, they grew sugar beets. We have a big sugar beet factory in the town where I'm from. And um, the farms just go forever and ever. And I went to school with children that grew up on those farms. And they would have to work very hard um, on those farms to help their families. But would be really fun if we talked about a friend who was a pig. Can you see that very well? I was trying to find good ways for us to look at pigs and to talk about pigs. I don't really know a lot about pigs. Do you know about pigs? I know pigs are pretty smart. And I know that some people actually have pigs as pets. They're so smart and they're nice. They're not aggressive. The only time that a pig would get really aggressive is like if a mama pig, here's a mommy, and her babies are all feeding from her. She's nursing them because she has milk to give them. The only time that a pig would get really, 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 really cranky is if you were going to hurt one of her children. And I get that. I wouldn't want anybody to hurt my children. And do you know that pigs come in many colors? Because, like, look at this guy. That pig is kind of pinkish, although I don't know. Does it look very good pink in there? Um, well, this, check out this pig. Maybe if I put this over here, it would be better. Let me put this here. Let's see if we can, this will work. Maybe, maybe not. That 
is a black pig. Did you know that some pigs can be black? And look at that pig. It has spots all over it. That's pretty strange. Oh, that's me. That's not a good picture. I didn't want to show you that. There's that snout. And that pig has kind of like got um, lots of dirt on it, doesn't it? Yeah. And look at these guys. How cute are they? Aren't they cute? Pigs eat. It's really important that pigs eat good food, grains, and um, the. sometimes people think that they'll just eat anything, but they really won't. And it's not good for them. They have to be really careful of what they eat because eventually we eat food from pigs. We eat bacon and ham and pork and sausage. And so they eat grains um, like corn and barley. And, and then they knew, use their snouts, their noses, those cute little noses, to, to put them in the ground. And they eat bugs and uh, plant roots. And that's how they get into the ground to find them. Look at this guy. See how dirty? I don't know, the lights are not clear. Gray in here. Can you see that? It's too much light in here. I'm sorry. Shoot. Um, oh, there's those guys again. And then there's this other picture. Oh, those are strawberries. Ooh, those are the fields that we're going to talk about another time. There was a really cute picture that I had. Let me see if I can find it. One thing that pigs like to do is that they like to cuddle. And they like to cuddle with other pigs. And where is the picture? Did I lose it? Oh, look at how cute this guy is. Isn't he cute? I think he's so cute. Um, I found a picture, but I don't know what I did with it, of a pig with their noses together. That's what pigs do. They lay with their noses cuddled up together. Isn't that cute? They really like each other. And you know what? They have a way of communicating together. And they communicate with their mama. And they learn the sounds of their mom very early. Did you know that? I think it's amazing. Animals are amazing. Look, I have this little cute little piggy. And do you know that you know this piggy? This is Piglet from Winnie the Pooh. So if these guys were friends, they would sleep like that. Isn't that cute? I love that. I really, really, really love that. So here's something that I'd like you to do. Take your hands. See your hands? Oh, look it. I have two thumbs. I have one, two, three, four fingers on one hand. So how many does that make? One, two, three, four, five. And I have the same thing on my other hand. I have one thumb, and I have one, two, three, four fingers. I'm very lucky. Not everybody is, most people are born with their hands like this. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work quite that way for some people, but we are lucky. All of you have what I have, and so we're really lucky, right? And so right now, here are my two little piggies, okay? So two mother pigs, they lived in a pen. Each had four babies, and then there were 10. These four babies were black as night. These four babies were black and white. But all eight babies, they loved to play. And they rolled and rolled in the mud all day. At night, with their mother, they curled up in a heap. And they squealed and squealed till they fell fast asleep. Will you do it again with me? Put your hands up, okay? Two mother pigs lived in a pen. Each had four babies, and then there were ten. These four babies were black as night, and these four babies were black and white. 
But all eight babies, they loved to play. And they rolled and they rolled in the mud all day. At night with their mother, they curled up in a heap. And they squealed and squealed and squealed. Alrighty, I got a book, and the book is called, what do you think it's called? Moo. No. Well, this is a book about a cow. Oh, can you believe that? So we are going to read about this cow in the book called Moo. And the author is David La Rochelle, and the illustrator is Mike Wanutka. And look at the end papers. Look at this cow. Isn't this a funny cow? Moo. Moo? Car for sale. <clears throat> Moo! Isn't that a funny story? The farmer was upset with that cow, right? And the cow tried to blame it on, on the sheep. Silly cow. Silly, silly cow. All right, so I was trying to come up with an art project. Now, all of these things I have are in my house. I haven't been anywhere. The books are here. This stuff is here. So I've been trying to make think of ideas that you could do at home that are things in your house so you don't have to go anywhere. And I'm not sure I did a good job today. But I wanted to come up with a way to make a pig. Now, I know we talked about pigs and we read a cow book, but that's okay. It's all about farm, right? So I thought we could make a pig. And I have a paper plate. Now, if you have paint, you could paint it pink if you have pink paint. If you have white paint and red paint, when you mix the red and the white, what happens? You're right, you get pink. I don't have any pink paint. I just have a marker. So I thought, well, I can just color it, right? Pink, 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 pink. And it doesn't have to be solid. It can just be pink, 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 pink. Okay. Then, look at that. Then 
I had an egg carton and I cut the egg carton into pieces. Okay, so I used these, this part. I needed three of those. And I colored those pink. And I put a note for a nose. Now this is the hard part for me. I didn't have any glue. So I'm using tape. So I don't know if it's going to work or not. But I'm going to try and just see if it works. Because if it works, great. I think this will work for right now. Then I put eyes, right? And I need ears. So I took half of another one and I made ears. This is going to be tricky to get these on. But I'm going to try it anyway with the tape. So there's one ear. That worked. And let's do another ear. It's not exactly the same ear, but. They're kind of different ears. There we go. That's my pig. What do you think? I think you could do it. I think you could try anyway, right? Why not? So do you feel my string? Here's my string. Make sure you have it. Tug it any time. And know that I'm here and that I love you and that I miss you and that... We'll be together sometime, and we'll see you on our Zoom, and I really love you, and I really miss you, and with that, I'm going to just say, see you later, alligator, in a while, crocodile, give a hug, oh ladybug. Blow a kiss, my jellyfish. See you soon, you big baboon. Ooh, 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 ooh. Check out the door, dinosaur. Take good care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, my butterfly. Love you. See you tomorrow.